Hey everyone, it's Fola here. So excited to have you back for day 29 of the 30 day YouTube challenge. And I thought today we'd do something a little different, really just about connecting you to a truth that I think is really important. And that is the fact that you as this beautiful soul here on the earth right now may come across certain people or individuals in your life who, you know, might not really have the best interests at heart for you. And that might be a bit of a shocker when we think about it. That this is something that I feel is really important to us coming into our authenticity and coming into who we truly be. And that's to remember that not everyone's going to like us, not everyone's going to agree with us. And this can include friends, our co-workers, and even family. And it's something that I think is really important to learn. How can we continue to step forward in our life, even when maybe those people who we surround ourselves with aren't really in alignment or don't agree necessarily? And I think it's really important, too, to remember that other people in our life, those people who maybe doubt us or question what we're doing, what we're thinking, how we're acting, they do tend to have like our best interests at heart. Maybe the way they go about doing it isn't the most beneficial. But it's a great reminder for us to know that these individuals in our life mirror back to us or reflect some of our largest doubts. It's really up to you who you surround yourself with and even though there might be learnings in certain relationships, certain people in your life that you might find as abusive or downright mean, maybe then it's worth to consider, is this really worth learning the lessons or maybe I have learned the lessons and I just don't see my worth. I continually allow myself to be put down, beat down or whatever the case might be. So this is really up to you to be aware of what the relationships are in your life and how they're filling you up or tearing you down. And I think this is a huge part of our learning process here on earth right now is who do we have in our circles? And it can be really hard because we want to make everyone, you know, like us or we want to feel like we fit in. But I'm going to tell you right now, most likely if you're listening to this lovely video, watching this video, probably have struggled with fitting in. I know that I have for a long, long time. But there's a beautiful thing that happens once we start to step into who we truly be and do the things that light us up inside. It's like all those relationships that we felt were a priority or on the pedestal, so to speak. Those relationships start to show their true colors. Those people in our life, they might show up in a completely new way. Or at least it's like our eyes open up to the truth of what those relationships have been. And that can be really hard. I know there are often times of feeling resentment, feeling like you've been deceived. One thing I would encourage you though is to never beat yourself up about it. Just trust that there were lessons you needed to learn and continually repeat to yourself that you are open to learning the lessons quickly, smoothly, and lovingly. And just let yourself be free to choose when to let go, to know when to let go of any relationships that don't serve you anymore. And this even can extend into relationships that aren't necessarily with people, you know, attachments in some form that we might have with our work, our jobs, certain areas or places we might frequent, certain foods that we're putting into our body, you know. I guess when it comes down to it, these are all forms of relationship, all forms of attachment, of connections. I just really want to encourage you again today as you go through your day, just explore who or what in your life fills you up and what maybe doesn't fill you up as much as you'd like. 
and just acknowledge that that's okay. Maybe you did have a period of time with this person or this relationship that it did fill you up. And you can give thanks to those experiences. But ultimately, it's time at one point in our life to let go. Fly, birdie, fly. And this is an encouragement that it is possible to do these things. And ultimately, even in the loss of any relationship, whether the person's physically gone from this reality or not, there's beauty in the healing process and it is possible to heal and recover from whatever pains may come up. Because it is a, a loss, it's grieving. And it takes time, so be gentle with yourself. And know that you are loved and you are love. And that you will continue to be amazing until the very end. So from my heart to yours, I send you all the love, all that beautiful energy of awareness, and the ability to create the change that you so lovingly desire. And until the next time, you all take care.